Welcome back to What's New. I have been waiting for this very moment the entire show. I grew up in the 70s, and the sitcoms in the 70s, I don't know, maybe I'm biased, were the best. Mike Polk and I agree on this. So what he's done is he's put together a binge viewing guide for all of those classic TV shows. I can't wait to see it. Mike, take it away. And this just in, everything is still terrible and most things are now on fire. Turning to the weather. And here's a list of more things that are trying to hurt you and your family. Bees, black mold, cholesterol, yeesh. If you're anything like me, you could probably use a break from reality right now in the form of distracting entertainment. But modern day television can be too bleak or heavy. For example, I've heard that HBO Chernobyl series is really good, but it doesn't seem like the right time to dive into that. The pain is unimaginable. This is a good time for uncomplicated comfort television. With that in mind, here are some classic sitcoms that are currently available on streaming platforms to distract you for a little bit. Times you wanna go where everybody knows your name. Oh man, do you guys remember bars? Weren't those great? Well, you still can't go to them. But that doesn't mean you can't pull up a stool to Netflix and check out all 11 seasons of the all-time classic Cheers where everyone knows your name and isn't scared to sit within six feet of you. Also on Netflix now, the show that is the very epitome of simpler times, The Andy Griffith Show. In Mayberry, the biggest issue they ever had to deal with was whether or not Aunt B would win blue ribbon for her homemade pickles at the county fair that year. And that is just the level of adversity that I can handle right now. The Beverly Hillbilly. If you're in the mood for a classic, simple, fish-out-of-water sitcom, Amazon is also streaming The Beverly Hillbillies, where poor people enter the world of rich people, and Green Acres, where rich people enter the world of poor people. As you can imagine, hilarity ensues. IMDB recently got into the streaming game, and they're offering sitcoms like Who's the Boss, in which Tony Danza and Judith Light try to determine each week who is indeed the boss. You can also watch the classic Bewitched, in which an advertising executive played by two guys marries an actual witch. Hilarity also ensues. <laughs> Fun note, Bewitched also includes an incredible amount of day drinking, which is obviously very relevant right now. And finally, you can watch Blair, Tootie, and the rest of the Facts of Life girls grow up over the course of nine seasons, with a little help from a young mulleted George Clooney and the incomparable Mrs. Garrett, whom I actually do a pretty decent impression of. Girls, girls! It's very narrow, but believe me, that's dead on. So there you have it, some sitcom comfort food from yesteryear to help you escape for a while. And you can do it without escaping those pajama pants you're wearing. <laughs> that makes things so much easier. Let's use that more. This is Mike Polk reporting from my creepy basement for 3 News.